வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோ மெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் த ஸ்பைன் ஹவு த வெட்டபிள் காலம் இஸ் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஹவு இட் ப்ளேஸ் இட்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ரோல் ஆஃப் சப்போர்ட்டிங் த ஹெட் அண்ட் அலோயிங் ஃபார் ஆர்டிகுலேஷன் இன் வேரியஸ் டைரக்ஷன்ஸ் வி சா வி ஆல்சோ சா த மசில்ஸ் தட் சப்போர்ட் மூமெண்ட்ஸ் from the level of the neck to the level of the spine and the various muscles are various sub muscles of the broad group of muscles called as erector spine this is what we saw in the previous videos in this video we will be solving a simple numerical problem involving the spine this is statics of spine consider this problem you know this problem looks uh, like a busy slide it looks like a busy slide it is not all the details that are there are required to solve this problem now figure a depicts a person lifting a weight of w not w not is the weight that this person is lifting figure b shows the forces acting on the lower limb or lower part of that person's body figure c here it shows a mechanical model of the person's lower body which is essentially the leg plus the pelvis the parameters marked in uh, figure b and c are given are described here theta is this angle that the muscle force fm is making with respect to the vertical okay that is the flexion angle of the trunk from the vertical position this is the flexion angle of the trunk from the vertical position w is the weight of the person okay w1 is the weight of the leg which is acting from point b assume that only one leg is supporting because the person's weight is w and the person is carrying an external weight of w not the reaction force and because the entire system is in static equilibrium the reaction force from the ground on the leg will be w plus w not that is here the total ground reaction force that is applied at point c fm is the force that is produced by the erector spinae muscle to support the trunk fj is the force that is felt at point o right which is the point of the fifth lumbar vertebra and the sacrum or the so called l5 s1 joint or the lumbosacral joint lsj the lumbosacral joint l5 s1 joint point b is the center of gravity of the legs plus the pelvis okay that is the point from where the weight of the legs plus pelvis is acting from w1 a is the moment arm of muscle fm relative to o that is this is point o and this is point a right remember the point at which the compressive force is felt or uh, the reaction force is felt is l5 s1 and the point at which the muscle is applying the force is a point that is different this l5 s1 is o muscle force is applied at a and there is a distance between this that perpendicular distance is a that is that perpendicular distance as i am marking on the screen now that perpendicular distance okay the question is if small a small b small c theta w not w1 and w are given to you find the value of fm and fj in terms of these nodes okay that is the problem i need to find an expression for fm and fj in terms of small a small b small c theta w not w1 w this is what i need to do okay 
Now, this is a problem that we have taken from uh, a book. Thanks uh, to the authors for allowing us to use this problem. Now, let us list the knowns in this. What is known to us or what is given to us? Theta is given to us, small a is given to us. Small b is the distance between the point O and point B. Okay. What is point O? That is the L phi S1 joint, that distance. Okay. Distance along the x axis, perpendicular distance between the force W1. Remember, force W1 is acting vertically downwards. Why is that? Because that is the weight of the leg and the pelvis that will always act downwards. So, that perpendicular distance is B. And W plus W naught is the ground reaction force that is always acting upwards. Why will it always act upwards? Because it is a re ground reaction force, it will always act upwards. That corresponding momentum is small c. Okay. Theta is known. Theta, remember, is the angle between the trunk and the vertical, not the angle between the trunk and the horizontal, something to keep in mind. It is the angle with the vertical, see here, that angle, no? that angle is theta, remember this. So, theta is known, A, B, C are known, let us say W is known, W naught is known and W 1 is known. What is W naught? That is the external weight that the person is carrying. What is W 1? that is the weight of the leg and the pelvis, W is the weight of the person, the whole weight of the person. Okay. So, the weight, the total weight of the person along with the external weight is W plus W naught. Now, I am interested in finding an expression for Fm and Fj, that is the question, what is not known to find. Yes, Fm, Fj in terms of all these above things, right? This is what I need to find. Well, one thing I can do is I can write out the moment at point O. If I do that, Fj will disappear, then all the moments will be in terms of W naught, W1, W and Fm. And then I can maybe try to simplify that and try to find the expression for f. Maybe that would be a good idea. So, I am going to say sigma m at o is 0 counterclockwise considered positive. Okay. If I say this, but before I say this, let us try to list out all the forces that are there and their corresponding momentums. Okay. What are the forces and whether that moment is going to be a clockwise moment or a counterclockwise moment. Okay. Force, momentum, direction. Fm is the force, Fm the momentum is A is it not, Fm is acting in this direction, the momentum because I am taking perpendicular distance from this point O is it not, this is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of force and the pivot about which the rotation is happening is it not. So, that is that distance which is small a and that will cause a clockwise moment. Okay. Now, then what else? Fj will not cause any mo moment because its momentum is 0, that is no because Fj is acting along O. So, it will not cause any, but anyway for correct completeness we will also write it out. Okay. Then W1 is the weight that is acting at that point 
and that moment arm is small b and that is a clockwise moment is it not clockwise moment then w plus w naught is acting at with the moment arm of small c w plus w naught what is this this is the weight of the person plus the weight that he is holding its momentum is small c and that is that will cause because this is where or that is where the pivot point is the axis of rotation is that is going to be a counter clockwise moment ok. Let us go back once and check if there are any other forces that we have missed out this is the free board diagram this is the diagram that we have right f m we have accounted for f j we have accounted for although the moment arm is 0 w 1 we have accounted for and w plus w naught we have accounted for. Now, I can write out the equation sigma m m about o is 0 that would be minus f m times a why minus because that is a clockwise moment minus w 1 times b y minus again because it is a clockwise moment plus w 1 plus w naught times c y plus because this is a counterclockwise moment this is 0 this is a single equation in one variable in this equation the only unknown is f m everything else is known. So, all I need to do is simplify and find the value of f m let us try to do that. So, that would give me f m a f m times a is you know w 1 plus w sorry this is w plus w naught ok w plus w naught not w 1 plus w naught w plus w naught times c minus w 1 or, or rather yeah, minus w 1 times b. Now, f m would then be w plus w naught times c minus w 1 times b the whole thing divided by small e. This is the expression for f m the force f m ok. Now, because I am also interested in finding the force f j can I try to express f m x and f m y or the x and y components of f m because it seems like I might need that to compute f j because f m is not equal to f j likely f m is not equal to f j that is very likely how do you know because there are the x component might be the same or uh, we will have to check that we will have to check that ok. The y component will definitely not be the same because there will be many other things w 1 w plus w naught many other things uh, that come into the picture it is better to express f m x and f m y in terms of f m and theta can we try to do that. If we go back to our uh, previous videos on resolving vectors and resolving forces I request you to take a few minutes and refresh this in case you are not able to follow ok. Remember one thing that theta is the angle that f m is making with respect to the vertical the usual uh, resolution of forces and vectors we will say theta is the angle that it makes with the horizontal here it is the angle that it is making with the vertical remember that something to keep in mind ok. So, because of that the x component of uh, f m the x component of f m will be that is it not that is the x component of f m that would be f m times because that is opposite to theta because that is opposite to theta that would be f m times sin theta f m times sin theta.
and the y component of f m would be that is the y component of f m and that is an adjacent side to theta is it not. So, because of that I know that this is going to be f m times cos theta ok. This is different from the previous formulations because theta here is the angle that is measured with respect to the vertical please check why this is the case ok. Please check and review previous videos on how to resolve vectors and forces ok. So, f m x is f m sin theta and f m y is f m cos theta. Now, I can write other equations of static equilibrium which is sigma f x equal to 0 right side going is considered positive right. That is what are all the various forces that are acting along the x direction there are only two forces one is f m x that is acting along the positive x direction and uh, f j x that is acting along the negative x direction the whole thing is 0 there is nothing else. So, this means f m x is equal to f j x or rather f j x is the unknown in this that is equal to f m x what is its value from our previous computation f m sin theta and because I have already computed f m this is f m. f m sin theta right this is f j x. Now, I can say sigma f y equal to 0 up going force is considered positive say if I say that what are all the forces that are there in the y direction now there are many things there is plus f m y minus f j y minus w 1 plus w plus w naught is there anything else f m y minus f j y minus w 1 plus w plus w naught there is no, no other force in the y direction and this whole thing is 0. In this I know w 1 w w naught the only unknown in this is f j y I take that to the right hand side and then I rewrite that equation slightly. I will get f j y is f m y minus w 1 plus w plus w naught. In this I know f m y as that f m cos theta f m cos theta minus w 1 plus w plus w naught. In this I know the value of f m to be this. I know this substitute for this value of f m theta is already given to you w 1 w 1 w naught are already given to you. This is the value of f j y okay. and this is the value of f j x ok. What was asked to find f m and f j in terms of theta w 1 w naught w and a b c is it not that is what we have done. So, with this we come to the end of this video. In this video we saw a simple numerical problem involving spine. In the exam you might actually be required to solve for this using specific values of a b c w w naught w 1 etcetera ok something that you might want to keep in mind that because this course will most likely have exams that are of descriptive type not just multiple choice questions. So, you might be required to solve problems. So, it will make sense for you to attempt this problem and this derivation on your own at least once or twice after watching this video that will help you to do well in your NPTEL course exam. Thank you very much for your attention.